So now that we're in the daily Hebrew collar sleeve, we're going to go over the main parts of control, and we need to understand what each of our legs uh, are doing. Right? So when I'm here in the collar sleeve daily Hebo, okay, as I'm playing here in the in the guard, I need to understand right how I'm going to be controlling each leg in, in each limb. So when I'm here, right, my my right leg and my left leg are working in correlation to each other, similar to how before we had the the foot and the hip and then the posture broken down, right? So what my right foot's gonna do is I'm constantly gonna monitor his shoulder, or oftentimes what happens is guys will grab the sleeve, and so I'll just grab their toes and the biceps. So if he's grabbing this, which a lot of times they do, it makes it easier for me to raise my hips. So as I'm here with my foot on the shoulder or bicep, I need to use this simultaneously to raise my hip and get my toes as deep as possible, right? So if I can get it on the inner thigh, or even catch the material right here, right around the groin area, that is gonna be ideal, because I'm gonna have super control of the leg. So as I'm here, right, I raise my hips up, right, and I'm gonna, and I can drop back down, I'm gonna be hanging on him, right? So he's gonna feel my weight. I don't just have like a hook feeling in the mold. No, I'm actually using my leg as a tool, right? So as I have the collar here, I'm pulling the posture down. The more I drive the shoulder towards me, the easier it's gonna be for me to kind of utilize this leg right here and control the arm. So now as I'm here and controlling the sleeve, this is monitoring any type of like hook breaks, right? or anything like that. So as long as I'm doing a good job when I'm kind of engaging my core and I'm kind of hanging on here, it's gonna be really hard for him to move, right? And as long as I can keep these controls, especially the daily heba and the foot and the bicep, this is gonna prevent any type of lateral movement. So for him to really make things work, he's gonna to have to start breaking my grip or looping around my leg, right? And then later on, that's when we're gonna go over our guard retention to maintain this position.